we are giving this brief on the plastic ban that we did issue a while ago uh, which is supposed to take effect on the 28th of August uh, this year and this ban was necessitated by four key issues one is that is the constitutional right of every Kenyan to live within a clean and secure environment. We have also considered our responsibility to global uh, sustainable goals as part of achieving sustainability in our development by balancing between development and environmental consideration. We have also based the ban on the Kenya Vision 2030, which outlines that Kenya will be a middle-income country where its citizens live within a clean and secure environment. And we are not retreating in this ban. We'll go ahead, but we'd like the public to know that is not a total ban. There are several exemptions that have been provided and given by NEMA, but I want just to mention two of them. The waste bin liners are exempted. The primary food packaging are exempted. I know there have been questions as to possible job losses by manufacturers of the plastic materials. I can confirm to you that the number of jobs that will be created by producing alternatives is far much more and more widespread than what already exists in the existing plastic carrier bag manufacturing plants. But by and large, we expect two economic benefits from this ban. One, a lot of cottage industries which have already expressed interest in producing alternatives. We already have 40 producers who have lined up to start the businesses. And as a ministry, we are going to support by providing incentives to ensure that they can be able to produce alternatives. 